why stuff flatbreads with feta and oregano? Because the stuffing adds a ton of flavor, they cook up really quickly, and your grill doesn't end up a mess. I'm gonna start with a really simple flatbread dough. This one is made with a little bit of yogurt and a lot of whole wheat flour. It's very hearty, very chewy. And I've let this rise. You can let it rise either in the fridge overnight or for a couple of hours at room temperature. And then you just cut it up into balls. I really like to make the dough ahead of time because it's best when it's cold right out of the fridge. So if you have time to do it the night before, that's ideal. You just wanna roll it out about a quarter of an inch thick. And then what I have here in this bowl is basil garlic oil. All I've done is taken basil, garlic, salt, and olive oil, blended them together, and then I have this sort of rough puree. And I'm just gonna brush that all over the bread. This is gonna lend a lot of flavor to the dough, and I'm also gonna use it as a dipping sauce at the end. Then just gonna sprinkle this with some crumbled feta cheese. You don't wanna use too much, just a little bit. I've got fresh oregano leaves here. You can also use thyme leaves. So you just fold the dough over so that you stuff the flatbread. Everything should be on the inside. And then you just wanna roll it out. And this time you don't wanna roll it quite as thin. You wanna roll it, let's say, 3 eighths of an inch-ish. Like that. I'm not aiming here for perfection. I'm just aiming for evenness so that it cooks evenly. Feel free to personalize these flatbreads. You can use different cheeses. Blue cheese would be great. The idea is you wanna add something fresh, so you wanna add an herb, and then something really rich, so some kind of cheese. Or sausage would be good too. So then after you've rolled these out, I'm just gonna brush them with some plain old olive oil. The trick when you are brushing these guys is that you don't wanna brush your cutting board where you're rolling them out because then you'll just get it all oily and sticky. And then I'm gonna flop them right on the grill. Oil side down. And then you just wanna brush the tops with more oil so that when you flip them, the other side won't stick. Those are gonna take just a couple of minutes to cook and then we'll flip them, finish them up on the other side. This is what you're looking for. You want them nice and puffy. Yep, oh, perfect. Just wanna flip them over and then get the other side. And just check the bottom, those are good. Here's the thing, right when you get them off the grill, you wanna salt them immediately because the warm bread will absorb the salt better than when it's cold. And then you put the next batch on. Make sure to save some of the basil oil for dipping. So if you're spending the afternoon grilling and you need a little snack to keep the hungry hordes at bay, these flatbreads are the perfect nosh.